Hi there. So I'm still trying to install this uh, Apple Fireware cam. I was uh, documenting what my progress was so far, and I thought I'll take one more stab at this thing. And I found this company called Unibrain that people had blogged about. They got their eyesight camera to work. So I quickly threw the board, the 1394 board, back into the computer right there and plugged the camera in. So it took like all about three minutes. And so now I want to download this uh, driver here. Since I'm running Windows 10, it says use this one. So let's see if it'll download. I tried downloading it once and it failed network error. So the second time we download it, let's see what happens here. Looks like there's a driver there. So get rid of this old one here. The camera's plugged in. Let's, I guess, for um, fun, bring up Device Manager. We should see it real-time install the devices with plug and play. So let's bring up Device Manager here. There it is. So right now we have the uh, 1394 board, via board. I disable it. Let's enable it. Enable device. There we go. Okay, the board's enabled. Let's now run this driver installer, UB Core 64. I'm running 64-bit Windows here. See what happens on this thing here. Okay, here goes the wizard. I'll put this old stuff in as long as it does not slow my computer down and screw it up. I'm happy with it. I'm always suspect of stuff like this, but wow. Not sure why I gotta put this stuff in here, but whatever. Okay, it's gonna go into program files. Okay, so that means program files, 64 bit driver, UB core complete. What can I do with custom here? Custom, custom. Adapters, tools, switch, documentation, manuals. Go back, complete. Okay, existing folders, accessibility, I don't want it in there. Oh man, why do they do weird things like this? Program folder, UB core. Whatever. Configuring. Let's watch device manager and see if anything pops up here. That's always interesting. So it's struggling along here. This thing works with TI chips, Texas Instrument chips, Texas Instrument, and I'm not using TI. I'm using, what am I using in here? Um, wow, look at that. I think I'm using ATI or something like that. Or VIA, I'm using a VIA chip. So now it's installing drivers. Okay, and you can see it installed something. Okay, look at that. So it took out the Microsoft driver and it put in the uh, Unibrain driver. So it did recognize the board, I suppose. And is that all we're going to get here? I suppose so. Okay, so it's finished. So it wants to restart the computer. Let's do that. So I do have this in here. I don't have a cam yet. Let's restart the computer. The cam is still turned on, which means it's probably not talking to my... Uh... I'm going to restart it later and use Microsoft's restart. Okay. Let's now do a restart on this thing. Let's see if this helps it. We'll see if the computer gets damaged and it comes up slow and it's all weird. Whenever you put in drivers in Windows 10 from parties that aren't Microsoft and aren't, you know, real big companies, it's always, it's always scary. So this thing should have restarted by now. Okay, there it goes. If it takes a real long time to boot, it's probably discovering devices. Hopefully nothing more than that. So this part of my computer is normal with the BIOS. There's Windows 10 coming up. 
This little thing should go only a few seconds and then be done. Should be done about now, so it's taking longer. Well, that's, that's reasonable. Now it's probably going to start installing. Okay, well, now I should get a login screen pretty soon here. So it's taking a little longer, but it wasn't too bad. Let's log in here. And see what's going on. So here's what I uh, didn't want to see, right? So it's got a kernel security check failure. So already we got problems here. So I would advise then installing the software. Another hour of my life probably wasted of uh, playing with incompatible hardware. Let's see if we can boot up the second time around here or not, or if I'm, I'm dead in the water. I have to go into uh, safe mode and uninstall this junk. That's kind of depressing. Okay. Let's see if we can do this now. Or if it blows up. Okay, yeah, so it's going to keep blowing up. So now I got to go into safe mode and remove this stuff.